same thing that's happening in the United States right about because you have biological acquisition uh, brain damage. Okay. Trained by biological acquisition, you have propaganda on what to say is proper. Okay. We need gender equity. We need to stand up for rights for women and children. They need clean drinking water. Wow, does this finally fucking hit your head? Have you ever read the Quran or the Bible? Yeah, there were, there were guys back in the ancient Roman Empire saying that this needs to happen. And we need to stop having archaic, abusive ways. Stop trying to make the man the head of the household. Stop trying to make the woman subservient to the man's abuse. Yeah, we need that. Yeah, I've got to, we sure the fuck do. But we don't need a bunch of bitchy fucking women controlling our lives with access to the resources through fucking psychotic make-believe credit scores too, huh, bitches? If you forgive debt and trespass, you don't need to go to a building with a bunch of whores telling you how to be somebody who work your way into a position to manipulate access to the resources because you're so fucking intelligent. You're a walking, talking whore pile of shit is what you are. Okay? You are disgusting. You disgust me. All right? You disgust me. You disgust me. You're disgusting. You're an embarrassment to the ways of Esther and Ruth and Khadijah and other women and the, and the holy understanding of the holy, uh, the holy grails of the lines of the prophets. You disgust me. You sit there and talk about being a better person. And women are going to bring women are going to bring priests to the world. Sure, they're going to give birth to men. They can uh, save the world from slut bag fucking whores who love their brain more than God's grace. Yeah, women are going to help save the world. Without my mother and my grandmother to give birth to the, to the line of me, we wouldn't be able to save the world from slut bag motherfucking wanna recreate yourself in a lab whores like you, right? Women are going to help save the world? Oh, emphatically. Emphatically. Okay. Hi, I'm Mary Parsons' little grandson. I'm one of hers. She likes me. She said to take off the dog's collar and beat the shit out of her with you, you fucking dirty whore. Okay. There's a ship's live reason rigged and ready in the harbor. Tomorrow for old England, she says. Okay. I have no fear of death that brings no sorrow. But how bitter it will be this last farewell. For you are beautiful. And I have loved you dearly. More dearly than the spoken word can tell. Yeah, I played that to try to connect with the Billy Graham people the day before I was uh, locked up. I even got uh, post-traumatic stress disorder when I wanted to share it online because I thought they'd fucking do it to me again. <laughs> I know how you chickens it feel. It's not uncomfortable. It's not fun uh, not having clean underwear and just on a pair of pants and them having you lock you up and put you in an orange jumpsuit. It makes you look like you're homosexual. And they, Yeah, they knew what they were doing. Trust me, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing when they put their pathetic little pants on in the morning. I'm going to be the woman that helps save the world. I think that the way that these men taught was dysfunctional, sexist. These men fell in love with the gods that were men in their brains and disrespected women long enough. Disrespected women, those stupid fucking sons of bitches in Egypt, made a big fucking monument to your womb that destroyed the ecosystem and murdered the children while I buried you in it with 5,000 people alive to escort you to be the slut king of the sky, queen of the sky. Moses sat there and told him about it, you fucking whores. You worship your tombs more than your own children. You disgust me. I don't wish to live here with my Egyptian family anymore if they worship the dead more than they worship God, the source of the living. I wish to go live up north where the ancestors used to live where we gave praise to God for the rain from the sky. We didn't try to create mountains to create our own rain. We didn't destroy our ecosystem to make monuments to our death and insanity. If we had a women God, if ISIS had beaten Jesus, if ISIS had beaten Jesus, we'd have more monuments built to your vaginas uh, fucking the sky, right? 
just like those big dicks they have all over New York fucking this guy. Okay? What's the difference? If a female worships her vagina or a man worships his dick? Nothing. Satan comes in both sizes, both sexes, both genders, both ego, be equal opportunity, ego fuckers. Right? You people piss me the fuck off. I need to be pissed off. This is good stuff. I'm evolving technology. <laughs> you always get that more namaste, more peace, more love. If someone is raping children's minds and won't stop because they're in love with their ego, okay, you know how to get peace and love? Stop the mind fuckers from raping children's minds. Okay? And that's my job. Okay? I'm the guy in the Bible. I'm the guy in the Quran. So I this stuff doesn't seem very loving. No, it doesn't, does it? Does it, Richard Dawkins? When Gabriel has to go to Muhammad because he doesn't want to do it, because he loves people, and has to choke him from the present, which is the future, and say, you will speak the Quran. That's a beloved, loving God. Gabriel never claimed to be God. He's one of God's messengers, one of the analyticals, passing on the message to one of the other ones. Hey, if you don't want, you have the ability to teach the truth, to chase children from being murdered from pieces of shit like you, Richard Dawkins, and you don't want to do it because you're afraid you're going to die, doesn't one of your uh, relatives need to come to you in prayer and choke you to get you to speak the truth so you can save children from murdering pieces of shit like you, huh, you monkey's uncle bitch? Huh? Don't you want faith in God that passionate, that strong, that powerful that we will have the Quran as an example to save us from pieces of shit like you, Richard Dawkins? Because uh, salt water and fresh water don't mix. It goes into storage if you have global warming because of mechanization and uh, materialistic worshiping piles of shit like you playing with your poo, you howler monkey son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> How does he like me now? Come on, Dawkins. Show up, baby. Come on now, baby. Come on. Have a public conversation with me, Richard Dawkins. I want to see you sniveling and picking fleas off of fucking uh, Stephen Hawking's head while I'm rearranging your cosmos for you. Come on, do it. You are the biggest pile of chicken shit that ever lived. You're Chris Hitching fart. Okay? Morphine-induced dying on his own fucking fluids from his lungs because he couldn't handle the truth long enough to pull his head out of his ever-loving chicken shit ass. One of the greatest orators and writers of our time. If you're a pile of shit covering up the roses, they can restore the value of the garden. And then, yes, to someone that fucking retarded, he is one of the greatest orators and writers of all time. To indulge your fucking retarded ego and your monkey-loving self. I love monkeys, too. And I want to help save the war monkeys from people like you. <laughs> Come on, everybody, Louis Prima. I want to be a man, man club. I stroll right into town. I want to know about the secret of man's red fire. I'm tired of monkeying around. Who we do? I want to be like you. Who, who, choop, choop, you up. I want to walk like you, talk like you, too. Who, who. You know it's true. Dig that funky beat. A ape like me, he, he. Can learn to be human too. So I hope for your sake that's true. All right, Louis. I hope for your sake that's true. All right. Because if it's not true, then the technology is going to have to kill you because you're a threat to the planet and species. It has to save human beings from people that aren't highly evolved enough to be considered a homo sapien human being type person. Isn't that the way this is working? Didn't you guys tell me that in Sierra Vista when that psychology department head came to talk to me? That they developed a meme uh, in their head that can't logically sequence life in a tangible, rational fashion to save their own children from mass murder of the resources. We can't save these Christians, so we're going to have to kill them all. Same with most of the Muslims and all religious people will need to die in order for us to save the planet from their aggression. Really? You know I, what I told him? It's like a dick. You control it or it controls you. And if you can't control your dick, your computer is going to kill you with your dick. All right, Dickity Dawkins? 
I'll be back. I'm going to make one more.